In this video, we are going to get 2 furan methanethiol, a compound which is produced in coffee roasting. This compound has a very strong smell and has recently been studied to feel disgust in people suffering from parasmia. Parasmia is an odor problem caused by infections such as COVID-19 or the flu. 2 furan methanethiol to some people has a nice smell of toasted coffee or popcorn and to others it is extremely unpleasant. This synthesis can be seen in a video on my NC Chem Chanel. On obtaining foric acid. Down I leave the link and at the top of the tab. Furfural alcohol is formed together with sodium 2 furyl carboxylate in the Cannizzaro reaction and can be extracted with ether. In this video, we will see the extraction using a continuous fluid extractor. To obtain 2 furan methanethiol, we obtain first furfurfural alcohol by the Cannizzaro reaction, making the sodium hydroxide act with furfuraldehyde. In a 500 ml flask, with an addition funnel, a thermometer and a bath of ice, we put 100 grams of furfural. In the addition funnel put 85 grams of 33% sodium hydroxide solution. When furfuraldehyde reaches a temperature below 10 C, slowly add the sodium hydroxide solution without allowing the temperature to exceed 20 C. After the addition of the sodium hydroxide, leave stirring for one hour. Add 35 milliliters of water to dilute the sodium 2 furyl carboxylate form. This solution is put into a fluid extractor. To assemble the extractor, we place the liquid to be extracted in a 250 milliliters Erlenmeyer on a magnetic stirrer. We set the volume at 250 milliliters. Place the center funnel, which carries the ether at the bottom of the flask. Assemble the coupling that connects the extractor, condenser and evaporation flask. We'll adjust the condenser. Important that the condensed ether falls in the center funnel. Put the evaporative 250 ml flask in a warm water bath. Fill the evaporation flask with 200 ml of ether. We'll heat the water bath. Ether vapors are observed to condense and drop into the central funnel. The extractor flask is kept under gentle stirring, so that the aqueous phase does not pass into the evaporation flask. We only release the condensed ether that transports the furfury L alcohol. The operation is complete when the ether is completely clear. All the product of the Erlenmeyer flask is placed in a separator funnel and the organic phase is separated. The organic phase is added to the one of the evaporation balloon and a thermometer is fixed. We distill until the liquid is at 95 degrees. The remaining liquid in the flask is distilled, collecting the portion that distills between 165 and 170 degrees, which is the boiling point of furfury L alcohol. Furfurylic alcohol is water-soluble and 0.5 to 1% urea should be added for storage. Once we get the furfury L alcohol, we'll do the synthesis of 2 furan methanethiol. To obtain 2 furan methanethiol, furfury L alcohol reacts with thiourea in an acidic medium and 2 furyl methyl carbamimidothioate hydrochloride forms that, when heated with sodium hydroxide, forms 2-furan methanethiol. 2-furan methanethiol is separated by steam distillation. It is very important to work in a fume hood or outdoors. 2-furan methanethiol has an unpleasant smell and causes severe headaches. In a 250 ml flask with a thermometer we place 
12.6 grams of thiourea. 17 milliliters of water. and 14 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Heat gently until all solids dissolve with a hot water bath and cool to 30 degrees Celsius. Add 16.4 grams of furfury L alcohol and wait until the temperature rises. Do not allow the temperature to exceed 60 degrees. Keep the ice and water bath nearby if the reaction gets violent. With addition of furfury lick alcohol turns red. The temperature is only 50 degrees. As the temperature did not reach 60 degrees, I decided to warm it in the water bath at 60 degrees and to cool it rapidly with water and ice. Let rest at ambient temperature for 12 hours. Prepare a steam distillation and add a solution of 7.5 grams of sodium hydroxide in 8.5 milliliters of water. Immediately after adding the sodium hydroxide solution, the vapor tube is connected and distillation begins. Working in the fume hood is very important because this is where the smell is most unbearable. During distillation, 2 furan methan ethiol is observed as an oil that distills with water. Distillation stops when no more distilled oil. The oil was decanted in a funnel and dried with anhydrous calcium chloride. We calculate the boiling point of the resulting material. In our test, a boiling point of 157 to 158 degrees Celsius was determined and the theoretical boiling point for 2 furan methan ethiol was 155 degrees.